Okay, this is a Brother P-Touch device. Of course, it doesn't work. That's why it's here. Uh, I was a trash find, and I th looked at the tape, and I'm like, well, it's got almost a whole roll of tape to it, so um, I had a Casio, and the labels peel off the Casios. I like Casio, but their label maker uh, didn't have the cutting blade, and, the, and they, they unpeel, but the Brother is supposedly better, so I always wanted one of these. They're about $30, I guess, and I didn't have the adapter, so I found a Panasonic phone adapter with the polarity opposite. The negative is in the middle, and the positive 9 volts, 9 volts, 500 milliamp is on the outside, and it fits, so we're going to use that for our power adapter. Still didn't work, so I've already broken into it here, and I want to show you what I found so far and what we're going to do. Here's a little circuit that runs the show here. Um, I've already disconnected most of the things. Here's a power supply here, which takes... You know, it's got a diode in it, so I, I don't even know if it um, runs on AC or DC. Um, our power adapter is... 9 volts. It doesn't say DC. Yeah, it does say DC. But in any event, whether it was AC or DC, it's, uh, it doesn't matter if we run it on DC. But it does say, yeah, batteries. So it runs on battery power, 1.5 times 6. So I chose DC. Okay, anyway. After some measurements, quickly, I just discovered that um, there's a custom chip there. Here's the microprocessor that does all the work. Um, this here, you got your, I don't know what voltage comes in here, let's see if it goes in 9, filtered, rectified, maybe, I don't know, 6 batteries, maybe 12 volts, maybe something on that line. Um, it's a 3.3 volt regulator here, no name, I don't know, I read the numbers off it, and somehow I came up with this, a 3 volt regulator, CMOS voltage regulator, and of course those are very prone to failure. Um, I have this one here, ground in and out. And uh, the only components I could find locally around here in PC boards and uh, computer motherboards and that is, uh, it's different. Ground in the middle like your regular regular regulator. It would be uh, in, ground out. This is like an oddball. And I'm not buying a hundred of them just to fix this thing. So I've gone ahead and Bought this little offloaded step down converter. It's a little buck buck converter, and it's put whatever in, and you get three volts out. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Voltage in, ground voltage out. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna take this out of here. I'm gonna wire him in there and just leave him. See if it powers up. Here we go. Oh, by the way, when I do a diode check or whatever you want to call it on this regulator, it is shorted between the in and the output. There's a short in that. Okay, there's a short between ground. I have the leads reversed. The one on the left is actually ground, but you get the point. It's, it's shorted. Well, I should show an outtake of an old business card. Yeah, we're no longer at 88.7 FM, but this is Farm Radio's YouTube channel. Now the hardest thing to do is going to be get this component out of here without destroying the board. I could just cut each leg off and uh, put some flux around it. Try to lift the whole thing. We'll see how I do. Okay, I've marked with the Sharpie. So here's what these folks are doing here. They're going in. That's ground. Positives on the outside. So I've labeled them. That's ground. Ground goes down to the cathode of a diode and resumes over here. And, uh, yeah, it goes to the motor there, I imagine, cladding. But that's the more important thing. There's two positives here, we'll call it. Uh, one of them is going down over here through the fuse there, the red thing, which we checked. That is good, has continuity. Then comes back over to the orange wire. So orange is positive, and I like to call blue negative. Oh, one important thing, what they do with the power adapter. Um, don't sure if it's even fused or not. Yeah, it must be fused. 
is they go right to the motors here with the the power or in other words that runs the motors run on 12 and um, yeah the other stuff here goes in as 12 gets regulated actually what I said makes no sense because the plus here that's not 12 it is in a sense because that's the battery compartment that red wire and the diode probably keeps the two away from each other I don't know I'm not getting that much into it I just want to get this over here replaced okay looks like we got our component out of there and there it is right here I just heated it up and kind of plucked it out so we're gonna go in ground out I will um, measure that make sure my ground is where I want it according to the connector here and positives where I want it and out obviously out is number three which is right here which hopefully leads to oh, it goes towards this transistor here and into the processor now this is Q1 this little transistor here and it tests good it's a good, good junction between each each junction is good okay the first leg in Oh, in is uh, number two, which is also the uh, tab. So that is in, which goes to our orange wire. Just verified that. So that is our positive. So that's positive. Ground is over here. I'll check that. And here's our output right here that goes uh, way over here to you know, this transistor, it looks like. We'll check him. Okay, he's in circuit. Uh, he reads okay. He's got two junctions also. Okay, I got about 6.7 volts going into this thing. We're going to check our little circuit here. And I have my meter on DC. I just want to out shorten out the show here. And we got 3.3 .3 out. Oh, I don't know if you saw it, caught that or not. Yeah, 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 that's enough. Three volts out. Okay, so it works. I've gone through my wiring scraps and I found a three pin connector that's uh, physically uh, adaptable to here. And I'll, I've used my little pointy probe here to pull the pins out and I've arranged them so that'll be V in, ground, and the white will be V out. Okay, there we are all connected, making sure not to short against any uh, small runs there or anything. So what we'll do, I have it plugged in. I'm not worried about the cutter or the motors or the keyboard or that's actually the ink pack over here the ink head and uh, the cutters and whatnot we're just gonna fire it up and see if we can turn it on so power power and I have nothing oh nothing Oh, we have something. Maybe we do have something. All right, let me get back here. Hey, anybody? Hold the phone. Well, that's a shame. I did check. Our, we got our 9 volts going in. We got exactly 3.3 .3 going out. And I've checked the connections there right. And this chip just gets smoking hot. So, Win some, you lose some, I guess. So that's why our regulator shorted out, because this thing is drawing excessive current. It's DOA. Well, I had a nice little experiment with this anyway. All right, so I'll apply power here, just to show you. There's our 9 going in. Okay. I'll switch it over to our output side. And I'll give you a reading okay, in the output. We'll turn it on and 3.3. .3, but this chip gets so hot, ah, you can't touch it. That's cooked. Okay, I checked it again against the original and that was wired correct. So at least we got a nice connector and we've got to use these on another job somewhere where we need 3.3 .3 volts regulated. It did a good job. And it looks like they come in 5 volts or 3 volts. Again, thanks for watching Farm Radio.